Hello, hello, hello. This is HAT500 slash Talented Track 98 slash Heloise Wonderwise slash Hilo. And for this video, um, I'm going to make this one quick, I swear. But this is a damage test and it's driving me insane. It is now 3 a.m. and I'm still looking at this stuff for some reason. Um, so I'm going to show you three tests real quick. And I'm the point of this is I want to show you that I'm starting to think for extra grids. Um, and as an opponent's defense goes up, the damage cap that we can potentially have matters less right so i'm going to show you i'm actually going to show you the grids first so this this is the the hexa grid that i've shown off a couple times and i actually was trying this in super ultimate bahamut instead the reason why is because i actually failed one of the two mil hit checks with this with galleon because she didn't hit two mil and it, i've been flabbergasted ever since so <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out what the damage is like. So if you see right now, this is the highest possible estimated damage I can get, right? Um, this is the first grid that I'll show you. So let me let me show you this this video. So this this is on this is on super super ultimate Bahamut, and mostly look at Galleon here because she's the one person that's like constant throughout these tests. So if you'll see. Right here, the only thing I did at the start here was I just did her S3 and I did her S1 on MC. Um, so this is this is turn one, right? And you see MC is hitting 700k, six, 665, 69, 700, 700, 700. Now you see Galleon comes up and she does 300, 300k, 300k, 300k. This is before Kane, by the way. This is before Kane. So keep keep those numbers in mind, and you can come back to them to look at them. Um, so this is this is the next turn with Kane. You see, MC right here is below one mil, below one mil on all their hits. All their hits are below one mil. Kane is pretty low. Arlen is pretty low. Now we'll go to another Galleon turn. Remember, Galleon's like the constant in all three of these runs. And I did, I did this on each, each run too. I don't know if it actually matters. Let me see. That's only triple attack. So now MC is 1.2, 1, 127, 129, 126, 13. And Galleon crits for 813. 7, 8, 8. Okay, so let's go back to the game. The next grid that I tried instead was I tried this, I tried, um, I swapped this dagger for my attack one, and I swapped the attack axe for, uh, the lobelia axe, here, okay, so this, this is what the grid looked like, so you can see it went down like, like 5k-ish, or 50, I guess 50, 50k-ish for this like the, the estimated damages and then let me let me show you the video for this one so this is the next one yeah and you can see me you can see me swapping to it right there before I did like another trial so we go in we go into this one I do the same thing at the start and turn one you see MC's already like higher than the cap up one they're higher on this first turn without, uh, without yeah. Galleon, I think, is also, yeah, she's also higher, but she does crit, so I guess this is the thing that she's kind of different on. Um, so let me go, once Kane comes out, this is turn two, you see the MC is still below one mil, okay, they, they peaked a little bit over one mil right there, but their damage is kind of higher than it was, let me see here yeah it's kind of higher than it was here with this second setup let me go back to galleon again um because i want to see her because she i'm pretty sure she crit on every turn where she had assassin okay this is our lamaya thing so she still has bonus damage here so it does it still doesn't really matter i don't even know why i threw out all our lamaya skills to be honest but you see okay so mc Hitting like one mil, one mil, nine hundred. So MC hits lower. MC hits lower. I think. 
Yes, MC hits lower, but MC crit. So I guess, yeah, MC doesn't really matter. I don't think MC really matters. Let's look at Galleon. Galleon is now at 900. 9591. So 900, 9591. Whereas back here, she was at 800, 7883. So you see this difference? And then, okay, so another thing. The last grid I tried, because I was like, there's no way that this Lobelia Axe is better than the Sieg Axe. So what I did instead is I did the special, or I did the Attack Axe instead of the Special Axe. This is slightly better, but it's still 50k below the special setup with the two, the, the, the special dagger instead of the attack one. So this is with two attack awakenings instead of one special and one attack. And this test was over here and this time i brought in mugen because i had one run where uh Tico didn't die and they threw everything out of whack so i just had mugen so he could sack himself so if we go to turn one here um let's see so turn one here you see how high mc is now seven nine seven six seven nine seven 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 eight eight hundred and Galleon's up to 500 here. It's like I, I don't understand the damage. <laughs> I just don't understand. So let me let me let me see let me see on on this one. So she was she was around 500 with the Lobelia Axe too, but it's a lower. It's low. It's going below 500. Whereas on this one, she I think she stays at above 500 on every hit. Okay, except that last hit. So she stays over 500 more on this one. Then on the the next turn, where she can attack. Let's see. And there were a few people that joined here because I was uh, I had to get a friend <laughs> to give me a host so I could check more. But another debuffs or anything landed, so it's okay. And our Lumaya gave Echo again, so she also doesn't matter. MC didn't crit again, so they also don't matter. Again, look at Galleon here. Galleon is now at one, over one mil. One, one point one nine, one point one six, one point two. It's, it's like, what is happening with the damage? I don't understand. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, okay. So, so what my, what my point is, is I'm starting to think. And I swear this is going to be the last video. I, I swear this is going to be the last video until PNS comes out, dude. But I swear, I think you still keep PNS instead of the two Alex daggers. Because then we will be at 19% damage cap. I think generally the rule of thumb is you're going to only want to go for damage cap if it's free. Free meaning it's in these extra slots. This is for extra grids, by the way. You only go for damage cap if it's free. So it's in these extra slots or it's gonna be your your daggers or your PNS weapons. I don't think you mess with these. I don't think you do. Or if you do mess with these, I think you have to take out one of these daggers for a stronger mod. I think that's what you might have to do. But I think I think for standard grids like like this one, where it's a normal grid, I think you can do special special here instead. Because on, on stuff that you're going to use normal grids for, you're going to be able to hit that cap higher. I, I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know anymore, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 it's throwing me off. It's throwing me off. And this this is the reason why I, I said in the last video, you have to test this crap. Because it just, it just, what it shows you in here, it just doesn't help. It doesn't help. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't reflect accurately against what you're fighting because there's nothing in here that tells me what the defense of the boss is so it doesn't tell me what my damage is going to be and like i said on hexa i think my galleon ended up hitting like 1.8 or something instead of two mil with the 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 special special dagger and attack axe and i failed that trigger and i was like what what happened <laughs> i was like what happened it makes sense so I, i'm pretty much the point of this video is I wanted to clarify again after the last video that I'm starting to think when things have higher defense, especially when you use extra grids, this these probably need to be attack. These probably need to be attack. I, I, what I'm saying is I think 
we are still too weak to fully take advantage of the cap, all the cap that these weapons can give us if we use Special Awakening. I think we only use Attack for now. But like I said, it's 3 a.m. and I promise this won't be short. So that's all I really have to say. I just wanted to get that out there because I was going to write a comment, but then I was thinking maybe people probably won't see the comment if they don't come back to the last video. So I'll just make another video to kind of wrap it up hopefully <laughs> but like i said I'm, I'm gonna just i'm gonna just leave it alone dude i'm gonna just leave it alone once we get pns then i'll i'll go through and try and test some stuff again but uh i mm, it, it's it's something right now it's something but okay thank you for watching as usual uh and bye bye